Paul Watson here for Pro Sound News TV, Plaza 2010, Pick of Plaza. We're going to head over to sort of Jason Baird now on the Loud Technology stand for Martin, uh, talking about the MLA. So the MLA, congratulations on the Gold Award. Thank you very much, yes. I was very, um, very proud to receive that award on behalf of the R&D team that, uh, that has made this happen. Fantastic. And that, that you were saying that uh, it's about five years in the making. Yeah, the, the product itself we've been working on for three years, but the, the initial research that led us to conceive the idea in the first place started about five years ago. There must be some fairly serious R&D involved in that then. It, indeed, yes. It's been a combination not only of, um, of acoustic design, um, there's software, electronics, mechanical design as well within it. So that the whole gamut really of the design process has been involved with, with creating this product. One of the interesting things that I thought about it is that it, it eliminates the need for uh, delays. Um, you can certainly um, control the coverage within a big auditorium extremely tightly with the, with the MLA, but um, I'd say every sound system has its limitations to how far it can throw, but what we're finding in the field is that we can go even further than we anticipated with the MLA. We've had it going up well over 100 metres, in fact even to 150 metres uh, with great clarity and precision right at the very back of that coverage area. So when you're at the back of the room it feels like you're right in front of the speaker and, and I, from what I hear is that as, you, as you're walking towards the stage it doesn't necessarily get louder. Absolutely, yeah. With the, with the MLA system, because it's, um, it's a powered system, um, it's got six channels of amplification within each cabinet which addresses each of the six individual acoustic cells within the cabinet. They've also got their own DSP channels. And what that allows us to do is get the computer to configure the, the DSP transfer functions for all of those cells so that you're now in control of things like how, loud, how much louder does it get at the front versus mix position but, um, and how much quieter it gets at the back. You can even tell the software to make it the same SPL everywhere if you want to. Okay, and um, how does it tie in with the downfill then? The, the downfill is, um, <clears throat> exists if you want to, um, to actually cover right to the stage barrier from the air. So typically at things like TV shows and stuff like that where you want a very, very clean stage apron, the downfill is the box that solves that problem for you. The event in Antwerp for Amnesty International, um, reports on that uh, it, well, were fantastic. Um, can we talk a little bit about how the SPL, you're, how you're able to, the, with the control, able to actually drop it almost right out uh, it, it just it seems fant absolutely fascinating. Yeah, we had um, <clears throat> we had the noise police along for that event in force, and um, what we had to do was cut off the sound outside of the coverage pattern of the array very very sharply, and we managed just to put that area into the um, configuration software with the specific uh, intention to drop the level as quickly as possible outside of the back of the of the audience area, and that enabled us to actually run the show for the audience at about 97 dBA. Whereas typically in previous years they've already managed to run it at 92 dBA without going off the um, without going over the off-site noise limits, we could run it at 97, which is just about loud enough, I think, for a rock and roll show. Yeah. And yet the noise police were measuring less than 80 dBA with their instrumentation, and that was why they said to us, "This is not normal," because yeah. they'd never experienced a PA system being able to do that before. They actually didn't believe you initially, did they? They they thought their instruments were broken until they got another <laughs> one and measured it again and said, "Okay, yes, yeah, maybe it is true. Maybe it is true." And what about the um um, uh, the base unit? Well, the, the MLX combines two really powerful technologies. The first is iPAL technology, which is a combination of unique driver design and amplifier design. So it combines that with another proprietary technology of Martin Audio called Hybrid, um, which basically means that as well as horn loading the drive units, we also reflex load them too. So it gives you the best of both worlds. You've got the punch from horn loading and you've got the, the base extension from reflex loading. Couple that with iPAL and you get um, a sub that produce 150 dB at one meter. And that's actually a measured figure, it's not calculated. We've measured that. Wow, okay. And uh, so no wonder you've just done your first sale then. Yes, we were very pleased to, um, to ship the system in August to um, Complete Audio. Um, Andre Rahut, the owner of Complete Audio, had taken the um, MLA system out on a tour of Germany in the last few months, and he was so pleased with the results from that tour that he decided to invest. So we were very proud to accept him as, uh, as our first purchaser. Fantastic. And um, to conclude, this is going to... Uh tour in the US, is that correct? Yeah, it's been actually been out on tour for um, about a month now with oh, okay. Zach Brown Band in the, in the USA. And I must admit, I'd never heard of him before we, before we got the possibility of taking it out on tour. But in the US, he's a, he's a big artist, he's a Grammy winner, um, and he's been selling out arenas um, all over the USA on this tour and uh, adding dates to the end of it and so on. And um, 
the people that have been using the system, the sound engineers and the, uh, the system tech, have had nothing but praise for the MLA system. So I'm very, very pleased that we're getting some real good interest and some real good uh, feedback from uh, our friends over in the USA. Well, congratulations. And uh, the future obviously looks bright. Um, the, <clears throat> the, um, the interest at Plaza has been unbelievable. And of course, winning the Gold Innovation Award has really been the icing on the cake. So um, yeah, the future is definitely bright for MLA and its, uh, and its components. Great, thanks very much, Jason. You're